bear stuffed animal. I got this at a thrift store for $2. He is so cute. He sold for $32.50 plus shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos. I am a full time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, sometimes some other platforms. Check me out over on Whatnot. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you what I sold on eBay. These are items that I sold for $35 or less. I call these my bread and butter bolos. I'm going to tell you where I got it what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started here. The first item I sold, I got at the Goodwill Benz. It is a Sesame Street Big Bird adult costume. I mean, I don't know who's going to wear this, but someone. And I sold this for a best offer of $23 plus shipping at the Goodwill Benz. It is by weight. So I probably had three or four bucks in this uh, because it was pretty big and heavy. Um, but yeah, the Goodwill Bins is a great way to source. If you guys have not seen any of my Goodwill Bins videos where I'm actually taking you with me to the Goodwill Bins, check those out. Super fun. I keep them educational. I pop up screenshots of everything I listed. So definitely check those out. But yeah, it's Big Bird. And he sold really fast, really fast. It was crazy. These are Vietnam War veterans, 50th anniversary button pin, bald eagle, lot of three. These came out of a Dibble box, which is basically a reseller box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I will link her down below in the description. She is now on Whatnot under her first name, Donatella. Go follow her. She sells to resellers. Um, if you guys are not sourcing on Whatnot or selling or buying on Whatnot, I definitely recommend that you check it out. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. There is a link down below. You can use um, that link to join Whatnot and you're going to get $15 to shop. It is my referral link. So it's $15 of free money. You can go buy something to resell and make even more than $15, right? Do I sound like a reseller? You might be a reseller if you use your free money to buy stuff to resell for a profit. All right. Uh, I sold these uh, pin back buttons for $13 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage calico. Uh, nope. I'm sorry. Not calico critters. These are Critter Country Christian Books cassette tapes. These were damaged. The books were not in great condition, but they did have the cassette tapes that go with them. These sold pretty quickly. These also came from the Goodwill bins. Sold these for $32.49 plus shipping. This also came out of a Dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino, and I sold this for $18.20 plus shipping. It is a porcelain stone necklace, and it's still got the original tag there on it, and this is what it looks like. Now I use a caliper and not a tape measure. I definitely recommend a caliper. Looks much nicer. These, I you normally don't show you guys my clothing sales, but I picked up a whole bunch of these Lane Bryant pants a long, long, long time ago in many different sizes. Um, I am sold out of every size except for the 22, 24. I have more than 10 available. If anybody's interested, I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on these. I have sold 11, um, but like I said, all the other sizes sold out. I do have a coupon code for anybody that watches the channel, it's Bolo Buddies. It's down below. But if you use Make Offer, it doesn't work. So you'll have to pick, just make me an offer. If you see something you want in my store, just make an offer and put Bolo Buddies in the notes. That will um, help me out tremendously. I think that's easier than the coupon. But you guys can do whatever you want. That coupon's linked down below. And you don't even have to look at my store. I'm not trying to sell you anything. But um, if you want to buy something, awesome. I mean, I'm not going to turn down a sale, right? Um, so I think I paid a dollar each for these. And just it was a huge bulk purchase at a discount store. This little guy flew out of my store. Manhattan Toy. I love their toys. Um, they're plush. They are just usually really nice quality. This is like a little baby flamingo chick. Uh, just super cute. Sold for $26 plus shipping, and I grabbed that from the Goodwill Bins. This is a Briar Horse. It also came from the Goodwill Bins. Sold it for $29.25 plus shipping, and it was a fast sale as well. 
This guy took forever to sell. I don't even remember where I got it. It's all Greek to me. Lion, I usually pay 50 cents to a buck for my plush. Just depends. Sold this for $9.74 plus shipping. And if I had to guess, I probably got him at a garage sale. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Sewer Lair playset. I parted it out, not once, but twice. Um, it's a lot of work, but you can make more money. So the person bought this one for $9. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Hold on. Bought this one and this one, and they paid $13.71 plus shipping for these two replacement parts. So you, if you find this complete, it can sell for big money, but it needs to be complete. If you have the original box, it's going to sell for even more. But if you get it and it's not complete, which is what happens in most cases, you can part it out because people are constantly looking for these replacement parts. And I am almost sold out of all of the parts. Now, this has been listed for quite a while. It is a long tail item. Some of the items are going to go quickly and some of them are going to be take longer. It really just depends on how many other people are parting the items out and who's looking for replacement parts for that item. So definitely can be long tail. This here I purchased for $9.68 plus, um, no, I think that was my, to my total, was $9.68. However, I got these two, and then I think I have two or three other listings. It was like a set of, I want to say, eight spoons. I bought these from Rachel Strickland on Whatnot to resell. So um, when you divide it out between the other listings, I probably had two to three bucks per listing. And I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. So just a nice bread and butter item, helping out um, my friends by going over to their whatnot and buying from them and also making a profit. Now, can you source on whatnot and find items that are bolos? Absolutely. And if you watch my channel, you're going to see where people have bought things on whatnot and sold it for big money. Um, recently in a featured members video, I share with you some stuff that people bought from me and flipped for big bucks. So that was super exciting. All right, so go check out Rachel Strickland on Whatnot. And she also has an incredible YouTube channel where she talks about reseller content. Let's try that again. She also has an awesome YouTube channel full of reseller content. And if you wanna learn more about Whatnot, she has some videos on that as well. This is a K&C um, scrapbook album. And I sold this for $20 plus shipping. And I can't remember where I got this. I'm sorry. I did not write it down. But $20 plus shipping. I like to put these over on Poshmark because they're a heavier item. And sometimes they do better over there. Um, I do start my items on eBay. And then I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. Um, I use List Perfectly. If you guys want to check out, that out, I recommend getting more eyes on your items, not putting all your eggs in one basket. Um, I have chosen List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019, and I still absolutely love it. There is a demo video that shows you exactly how to do it down in the comments. I like to see things before I consider them. So check out that video. Um, if you watch it and you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. These little guys right here came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar for all of them. Maybe I should have parted them out. They're little mice with cheese. They're just so cute. Um, but I sold these for $18.60 plus shipping. And, you know, dollhouse in the title is a great keyword. I, I probably should have parted them out. I just did a multi-quantity listing, but I didn't. What would you guys have done? This is an Avon Skin So Soft Bath and Shower Massage Brush, curved handle, sealed. I got this at the Goodwill Bins, and I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. More of the embroidery flosses selling. I sold two of these, and I have more than 10 available in this color. I actually have a whole bunch of these listed in my store in other colors. Most of them I put in lots of 12. And basically, people can add them to their cart, or they can buy more than one, but I felt like 12 was a good number of enough to do like a cross stitch thing or something, but maybe I'm wrong. I sold these for a best offer of $10 plus shipping and picked those up at a state clean out. I have a whole bunch left. Um, I did a whole bunch, but I have a whole bunch left. So I will get those listed eventually. This is a vintage panda bear stuffed animal. I got this at a thrift store for $2. He is so cute. He sold for $32.50 plus shipping. 
This next item came from a garage sale. I got about a quarter in it. It's a Barbie baby Fisher Price bouncy seat, nursery playset replacement. I'm pretty sure I used Google Lens to figure that out. If you guys do not have Google Lens on your phone and you are a reseller, you definitely should do that. It is free. You take a picture of the item and it will identify it for you. Sometimes it will even pull it up like on the platforms and show you where to go and like do comps. It's great and it's free. I do have a video. If you type in Google Lens Bolo Buddies on YouTube, it will pull up that video and you guys can check out how it works. Sold this for $7.44 plus shipping. This right here was kind of a disappointment. I got it home and I realized that one of the bottoms was missing. Um, I've been going to this little flea market that's by a thrift store that I go to. And I've only gone in there a handful of times, but they had all of these salt and pepper shakers and they were a dollar each. And I have listed, I didn't list very many, three or four, and I've already sold two. Now they've turned out to be major bread and butter, but some of the ones that I have not listed are much cooler. So this one with the missing part sold for $9.30 plus shipping. So a dollar into $9.30, not too bad um, for parts. So the next item is this Tokidoki Unicorno Bamboo Unicorn Vinyl Figure. These Tokidokis do really good. Definitely be on the lookout. They sell pretty quickly. They do range from bread and butter to some more higher dollar ones. Not, I wouldn't call it big money, but you might be able to get 20, 30 bucks out of some of them, depending on which one it is. Got this at a thrift store for 15 cents, sold it for $10.54 plus shipping. This came from the Goodwill Bins and it sold very quickly. It's a vintage slide rule by whatever this name is. And it came with this cool leather case. So got it from the bin, sold it for $27.90 plus shipping. This little guy right here is a Russ Berry Love Pets. It's a Basset Hound, still had the original tag. Uh, go check out my video that I did. A friend of mine gave me all of her childhood toys that she was getting ready to take to, to the Goodwill. I'm like, no, I'm a reseller. Don't take it to the Goodwill. Bring it to me. Let me go through it. And then I will take it to the Goodwill. And she knows I make video content. So um, she was excited to see the video. So in that video, I show you everything that I got, what I listed, what I donated. And this is one of the items that sold really quickly for $18.60 plus shipping. This little guy I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. It is a vintage applause Telly the Funny Bunny from 1988. He has bendable ears and he needs sewn. He has a little issue. Sold him for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a scratch and smell, the popcorn sniff sticker. So I don't think it is scratch and sniff. It is scratch and smell as seen right here. But I wanted to make sure that I included that you sniff it in the title. <laughs> so it's a sniff sticker. And I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Um, check out my video that says Bolo Buddies, Goodwill Bins, thousands. And oh my goodness, get ready to have your socks knocked off. Sold this one sticker for $16.25 plus shipping. This next item also came from the Goodwill Bins and I cannot believe how fast it sold. I have a couple others of these where you pull them down, they're musical and They've just been sitting, so I kind of expected this one to sit. You know what? It didn't. It sold fast for $26 plus shipping, and I also got this at the Goodwill Bins. The last item came from a T-Bowl box, which is a mystery reseller lot that I purchased from Auctions for You on her YouTube channel. This item sold for a best offer of $7. The buyer was all in for $12.89 plus shipping. It is a vintage Tupperware replacement orange push button seal lid. It's the lid only. Um, all of the Tupperware will have an item number on it, which makes it really easy to look up. Um, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger like loves Tupperware. And she's always like, you need to buy Tupperware. You need to buy Tupperware. You need to buy Tupperware. So here you go, Noelle. I didn't like buy it, but I got it in a mystery lot. So I listed it. And you guys go check out Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. She has a video over on her channel that talks all about Tupperware and why you should buy it to resell. And Auctions for You, um, that is her YouTube channel. She is also on Whatnot T Auctions for You over there. If you guys are not on Whatnot, again, link down below. Get $15 of free money to shop with my referral link. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Those were my bread and butter bolos. Um, a lot of you guys skip the bread and butter. And I will tell you, if you want to make daily sales, 
you got to stock your store with other things, you know, things that maybe you wouldn't really think to pick up things that are going to be long tail that are going to take the right buyer because on a slow day, you might sell those long tail items. And then you're like, yes, I'm glad I had this Ninja Turtle replacement part. All right, you guys leave me an emoji down in the comments. Let me know which item was the most unexpected and thanks for watching. Oh, be sure to subscribe.